Oh, I think there's a lot of pieces to it. Yeah. But obviously, uh, everybody's number one evaluator is game performance. So Taylor Decker gets evaluated on game performance more than practice. But uh, so that's everybody. So yeah, again, we'll just cross that bridge tomorrow and think about where we are and what we need to do moving forward. But uh, we have two really good quarterbacks who work hard, practice hard, and are great people. So, you know, no decisions are made right now. Not that you ever stop working and stop improving, but do you feel like you guys have turned the corner a little bit? I mean, it just was a good defense, and it just seems like a long time since we've asked you what's wrong with you. Well, yeah, I think we're making progress. I think we get everybody's best shot. I think uh, people prepare for us. I think people spend a lot of time in the offseason evaluating what we do. I think that, uh, you know, the stress of being on a 19, now 20 game winning streak wears on players and coaches and there's a lot of stuff that goes on and I give our kids credit for preparing, for staying focused and uh, when they need to turn it up and when they need to go, this group goes and we've seen them do that in big games and we challenged them tonight that this was a big game against a very good defense a good defensive team I mean they were averaging what 275 a game total defense and less than 100 yards a game rushing so uh, you know those are things we challenge our team and uh, they responded well when you talk about getting the best shot from opposing teams what specifically have you noticed that's different, whether it's like teams like intensity, effort, execution against y'all than like say last season? And how do you I, I think your players I think they give us a high level of effort. I think they give us new, unique, different looks. I think they do things to try to catch us off guard, keep us off balance, and usually it takes us about a quarter, as you can tell, to kind of figure out what the new stuff is, what they're doing, and then adjust from there. Um, but that's that's just out of respect, I think. I think they know that if they don't have some good stuff for us and are well prepared, that you know we, we can move the ball. How have you approached dealing with that and combating it, like specifically with the in-game adjustments and things like that? Yeah, I think that's one of our strengths that we've been able to make great in-game adjustments. Uh, we've been able to make some good halftime adjustments this time we were able to adjust in the second quarter and we got some things going because we weren't doing much in the first quarter obviously and then we got some things going and you know so we have a good coaching staff and uh, players that'll do whatever we ask and so we we adjusted midstream there in the second quarter and got some momentum and off we went